Charlotte played host to a retired general who is uniquely close to the war in Ukraine. Retired Lieutenant General Ben Hodges met with the Ukrainian president just before the war broke out. And new tonight, he says that people here in the Carolinas need to pay attention to what's happening now. Queen City News reporter Derek Dellinger had a chance to speak with him today. Derek, first tell us, why was he here in Charlotte? Well, he was here for a speech this afternoon with the World Affairs Council of Charlotte and the North Carolina Zeitgeist Foundation. And he was talking about NATO and Europe and the situation with Russia. This speech has been set up for a few weeks now, but uh, and this was set up before the fighting broke out in Ukraine. So it made what happened here today all the more timely. For a little while today in Charlotte, people from several walks of life, retired military, local leaders, even high school students, got the chance to pick the brain of a man who knows a lot about what's happening in the world right now, particularly one part of the world that is seeing devastation, but resolve. It's going to get worse before it gets better. The Russians are, are going to start hitting civilian targets even more. Retired Lieutenant General Ben Hodges' career took him to Iraq and Afghanistan. His work now centers around European policy, which is part of the reason he was in town speaking to the World Affairs Council of Charlotte. And all of the talk was about the war in Ukraine. Now, after seeing President Zelensky's uh, courage and, and leadership, I think you feel like almost the entire world is like, Yes, we're, we're with them. The general would know better than most. He was in the Ukrainian capital of Kyiv before the fighting started and even met with the Ukrainian president. You could, you could feel it a little bit in uh, Kyiv that there was a certain sort of ominous feel. But there also, frankly, was some disbelief. I mean, people were still trying to have normal life. As images continue to play out from Ukraine, General Hodges says there are a couple of takeaways. One, that Russia's military is not fully prepared for the fight that Ukraine's army is. While the Russian military is huge with a lot of modern capability, when it came down to execution, it doesn't look like they um, have practice at that level. And two, people need to keep watching because what's happening there could affect life here. At the very least, gas prices, if not more. But Hodges says so far, people appear to be on board. What I got today was a lot of positive feedback about it is so important that we do that. that, that that's encouraging for me. There is a bigger question on support in Washington for any action or at least assistance to Ukraine or any more punishing of Russia. General Hodges told us that the bipartisan support is encouraging, but given the current division in Washington, it's not a given that everything will pass.